Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. How about you? Good, good. Uh, nice day, very relaxed. And you? Uh, eh, two. Eh, 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 today is mm, very nice. Okay, what did you do today? Um. I am working, I am exercising home, mm -hmm. and I prepare, prepare dinner for me and my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good, very good. Remember, when you speak in the past, not correct, I am, <laughs> I was, or the I verb in the was. past tense. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, excuse no, me. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> the idea is to practice the pronunciation, right? I prepared, I went, the different activities. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. For observation. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Let's take, we're going to have, like me and Morena, we're going to have five minutes and we're going to talk with our partners. And we're going to say, how was your day? What happened? Where did you go? The idea is practice the verbs in the past tense and ask your partner questions about their day. Yes, teacher. Okay. Are we ready? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Super easy with our partners. Let's ask, <laughs> let's ask our partners. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. 
What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. 2. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on our discussion box. Okay. So, let's see. I see we only have Laura. Laura, right? Don't worry, Sam. I see. Okay. Natalie. Mm -hmm. So, Natalie, how was your day? Tell me about your day. Natalie Perez, what happened? Hello. Hello, Natalie. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> tired. I see. Why are you tired? Because I I was doing my homework of university. Oh, and what are you studying? Uh, I am studying nutrition. Nutrition. Yes. <laughs> okay. In, in what university? Uh, Universidad del Salvador. Ah, nice university. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Okay. Is your first year? Yes, my first year. Interesting. All right. Well, I see we have everybody back. The same idea. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a moment and we're going to remember... Uh, a little bit out the verbs. Remember to study the verbs in the past tense so that you have the correct pronunciation. This is the most important part. Verbs that are regular with ed pronouncing them correctly. Okay. Any questions before we continue? No, right? Super easy. Yes, teacher. Good. Thank you. No question. Okay, good. Today we're going to learn a little bit about gerunds. We're going to use by and gerund. Here we're going to watch a small video about giving advice. Before we watch the video, I want you to tell me, how do you learn new vocabulary in English? If you have new vocabulary, how do you learn? Listening uh, news every day in English. Okay, listening to news. Okay, what else? Anybody else? Maybe, How do you learn the new book? Hmm? Maybe read a book in English, obviously. Okay, read a book. Mm -hmm. 
By watching American movies. Okay, by watching American movies also. Mm -hmm. mm, watching cartoons. Oh, cartoons, good. Also cartoons, very nice. Okay. Now we're going to listen to a conversation of people. And they're going to discuss how they learn English. Okay. Listen and take note. What are the different ways that they learn English? Hello. Sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new... So, tell me, how does the man learn new vocabulary words? He writes the new words and he put it in his room. Okay, good. He writes new words and put it in his room. Good. On the post-its. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Great. Now we're going to listen to two more people. Listen and identify. How do the people learn new words? New words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food, or work, or home, or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. Number one, what is his technique? What does he do? Or we listen again. Uh, he used uh, cards. Mm -hmm. He put the new word okay. in one side, and in the other side, he put the meaning, and then he put like uh, sentences to get a better idea for that. Okay, very nice. That's correct. Great. Now let's listen to the second technique. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which te Okay. What about the second one? What was the second technique? Write new vocabulary in notebook. Okay. Anything else? Only write the new vocabulary in the notebook? Uh, read the dictionary. Um, they not the words um verb okay and write down if it the, the word is a verb or a noun okay good anything else write example and write examples good so the new vocabulary they write examples also 
Very nice. What techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on a discussion box. So now we're going to practice similar, right? Using the idea with ing. Here we can see the different tips. Hello, sometimes learning. You could improve. Okay. For example, here. Let's look. How does he give? Ah, he's. How can he give information? He says, oh, you could improve your accent by, and then the ing. You can get better by and ing. This is the idea. By is what you can do, and then the ing is the activity that is correct for you to learn, okay? Right now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to practice the conversation. One time, one you. One time, Kelly, the conversation also is in WhatsApp. Okay, and then we switch. So one time, Kelly, one time, the one you. So we practice the conversation two times. One, and then my partner is the other person. Oh, sorry, before we go, any vocabulary, any words you don't know? All the vocabulary is okay? Uh, teacher, I have a question, teacher, the vocabulary. Yes, tell me. Uh, what's the meaning of the sticking? Mm -hmm. sticking? Sticking. Yes. Is the post-it. The post-it, you put, you stick, ah, like okay. in the picture. Mm -hmm. okay. The post-it is stick. Como post-it. They not. Well, mm, they I, not. No, no. The, no. the paper... You put on the wall, on the door. Ah, okay. This is the okay. idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Tish. You're welcome. The other words are okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. So what are we going to do? Remember, let's practice the conversation with our partner and then change. We practice both people. Mm. Oh, now we have more. Let's try some more groups. Welcome. This time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses. Number one, to say how something can be done. Number two, to describe how something was done. And number three, to describe how something could be done. Remember, you could improve your grammar by taking notes. Page 53. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, 
You can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and get better in English? What has worked for you? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. Improve your accent by listening. Hello. Sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then, I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school, whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Okay. So, as we can see, we have quite a few of the things, right? Who would like to be the first one? Who's going to practice the first part? Mm -hmm. Me? Okay, go ahead. Uh, and your partner? Uh, I don't know. Marvin and... Uh, Hi. Okay. I'm um, Kelly. Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Kelly. <clears throat> okay. Eric, Won, you, and me, Kelly. <laughs> Good look, Marvin. <laughs> 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 So, how's your French class doing? Uh, not bad, but I am finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get, a, to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language series. That's a good idea. But, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learned a new English word but, but by writing them on piece of paper and sticking them on things in my room. 
I look at them every every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Okay. Not too bad. Very nice, Marlene. A little pronunciation, but we can fix it. Remember, is I'm finding. Finding. I'm finding. Mm -hmm. I'm finding. Correct. Okay. Good. All right. Let's try another group. One more. Another group. Let's go. Who's next? Who's next? I would like to try. Excellent. Let's do it. Who's your partner? Mm, Carla. All right. Uh, you want to start, Lantre? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CD. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I knew I learned new English words best best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, pretty good. Nice pronunciation. Only on the fluency, but good job. Very nice. Okay. Good. So, it's okay how to give recommendations? Okay. Let's try and learn. In our next activity, we're going to describe recommendations using by and the gerund. We're going to use by and the gerund as examples from the video. Okay. Welcome. This time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses. Number one, to say how something can be done. Number two, to describe how something was done. And number three, to describe how something could be done. Remember, you could improve your grammar by taking notes. Page 53, exercise nine, grammar focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and get better in English? What has worked for you? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. Okay, that's what we're going to practice right now. With our partners, we're going to create a role play. And you're going to tell your partners how to improve their English, okay? As an example, you can prove your listening by um, watching videos in English or listening to music. And I think you can improve your fluency by recording audios in WhatsApp or speaking to native speakers. Also, you can improve your reading comprehension by reading more books in English. Uh, it's okay how to use by? Um, yes. Okay. So we have the conversation. Uh, we already practiced. We have the idea for buy. Now with your partner, you're going to create your own. How you're going to give tips. For me, tips for English is okay. But if you want to change the topic, no problem. But the important is 
give recommendations and opinion using by and the gerund. Let me just put a little bit more time so that we can practice. Okay. Is with uh, ing. Ing by plus gerum uh, with three use form. And the okay. ex example, example, example. O sea, dio tres ejemplos mm -hmm. en el video. By writing two English letters. Uh, by reading magazine in English? Yes, but the hearsay students can become better writers. Could be <clears throat> by writing to English speaking pen, pen pills. Can improve my English. Mm -hmm. Writing my daily activities in a journal. Okay. Uh huh. Continue practicing. Continue practicing. Don't stop. Continue. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I am nervous I, I, because the teacher is here. Ah, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Can you give me some advice for that? Uh, yeah. Um, Go ahead, give the tips. Uh -huh. uh huh. I see everybody very quiet. What happened? What happened? Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay. It's, this example, that's right. That's true. And the number mm -hmm. three is very good. That's a good way to learn idioms. Yes. 
Es the same, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the same. Another is by role with, playing with a partner. With by and gerund, okay? By gerund. Okay, with by and gerund, by. Okay, the number three, we have to check. Student can be become better writers. By yeah, write. Roma. By writing to the English speaking pen, false. Yes. What is pen pals? Pen pals. Pen pals. In um, como, como no tarde, eh? um, I don't know. The pen pals are the people that you communicate with, eh, with letters, with oh, postcards okay. or uh huh, but no, you you don't normally see. Okay. Pimples, pimples. Thank you, pen teacher. Pimples. Mm -hmm. Pimples. And the number four, a good way to learn new vocabularies. Okay. Let's try some partners. Let's see. Partners? Give us the idea, the role play. How can we improve English? Let's go with okay. Dina, Morena, and Natalie. And Nelda, you are sharing the screen. Do you want to okay. participate? No, okay. <laughs> All right. No problem. By 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 talking with other parent person English bit but I oh, slowly. Okay. I improve my English and uh, Watching TV, watching um, news every day. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. It's a conversation with the partner, not the <laughs> sentence. Uh huh. Is no. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, um. Eh, um. By practicing in your English class is. Is a good way to be loved, self uh, confidence in speaking English. <laughs> and later. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I like that you, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To by, by doing translation exercise, it's a, a good idea idea i guess <laughs> okay pretty yeah. good all right. Mm -hmm. all right don't worry thank you so much hey mm -hmm. good only we need to practice a little bit more to get more confidence with the sentences and the structures all right mm -hmm. let's take a look eric jaime and no okay jaime thank you listen hey. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Let's start. Uh, in, in, in my case, I I could uh, my improve my accent uh, by listening uh, music in English uh, and CD or, or video and YouTube and uh, to uh, improve my accent uh, uh, by watching movies. Mm -hmm. in yes, yes, is um, the good way for learn English. Mm -hmm. I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. 
<laughs> yes, it's very important. Yes. Uh, by reading magazine in English. To move it in, uh, uh, to, uh, to move it in English subtitle in Spanish too. Uh, I learn new voc new vocabulary, the word. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they not in uh, while you see movie, mm -hmm. they not in your not the book. Mm -hmm. By mm -hmm. by is by is uh, interesting. They not when you uh, see movie in English with subtitles in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. There you go. The idea is this, how do you do it? So for example, if you want to get a job, if you want to get a visa, if you want to change the uh, to another country, the idea is when you offer information is many times by. I want to make lasagna. I want to make delicious. We can give many recommendations using by. It's not the only form. It's just another way on how to improve. Okay, so mm -hmm. I tell my partner, you can improve your speaking by going to El Tunco, by talking with native speakers, okay, by practicing two hours every day. Yeah. Different. You have praise, teacher, because in the Tunco and other beach, um, los turistas quieren hablar, o sea, quieren compartir, y si uno no puede... Uh -huh. Speak English. <laughs> yeah, if you go, yes. they, the tourists, they are happy <laughs> want to interact. Yes, they mm -hmm. want it. Mm -hmm. For them, it's an adventure. It's like the Salvadorian, the Salvadorian that learn Italian, that learn, that learns German, French, and you go to the other country, ah, you want to practice. Teacher. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't have people uh, for the practicing, uh, you can practice in the mirror. <laughs> yes. Excelling, excelling. Exactly. Yes. But Good today, recommendation. Good recommendation. Today is not necessary to practice, uh, to have friends. Today in the community, you can. there are many communities uh, that you can practice online. The community for no. free. To practice with other native speakers in English. Um, okay. Yes, uh, I um, I have seen um many publications about uh, social media apps. What? Mm -hmm. um, we can use them. Exactly. Duolingo. Native. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Duolingo. Ah, yes. no. Um, no, no. The idea is not like Facebook. Uh-huh. Not to practice. It's like Facebook, but um I I don't remember the name of the app, but um they have meeting and uh a native English speaker. Um, want to speak Spanish, and we can we can do um, interchange. Okay. In the in the chat, I sent a link. If you want to practice with native speakers, in the chat you have a link, and you can practice people from England, Australia, Canada, the United States, Papua Nueva Guinea, New Guinea, only you select. The important is that you practice. All right, now we're going to continue, okay? Good ideas for giving recommendations. We just want to watch this part, okay? So we know how to use by and ing. Here we have a small video giving us a better explanation. 
Welcome. This time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses. Number one, Oop. to say how something... Sorry. Here, only in the review, what were the three usage? We use something can be done. Describe was done. how was done. was done in the past or how. in the future. So present, past, or future. The same. Okay. In present, can. In past, verb in past. And future, uh -huh, ing. Now, what are we going to do with our partners? We have many different structures here, and we want to answer the questions with our partners. Which is the way to use? or to learn correctly. So take a moment with your partners and we're going to answer 3.10 in the platform. Okay, you ready? Ready teacher. Yes. Ready teacher. Right. Excellent. To forget new words, I learn new English words. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on our discussion box.
to describe how something was done. Welcome. This time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses. Number one, to say how something can be done. Number two, to describe how something was done. And number three, to describe how something could be done. Remember, you could improve your grammar by taking notes. Page 53. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and get better in English? What has worked for you? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. Number one, how can you improve your accent? You need the answer, teacher? Yeah, tell me, how can you improve your accent? By watching American movies. By watching American movies, okay, okay. What is a good way to learn idioms? I talk I to native English speakers. Good. Pronunciation, native. Native. Good. Number yeah. three. By driving to English speaking paper. By driving to English speaking pen pals. Pen pals by writing. Okay. Good. Good. Number four. By studying and learning dictionaries. Okay, good. Pronunciation, studying. Studying. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Thanks. Number five. By reading By magazine reading in English. Magazines in English. Okay, good. Number six. By role playing with a partner. With a partner. Okay, by role playing with a partner. Mm -hmm. Number seven, the grammar. By doing translation exercise. Okay, translation by doing exercise. translation exercise. Where the is first, it? The first. Oh, thank you very much. All right. And the last one, number eight. By practicing in your English class. Super easy. There you go. All right. Let's take a look at the answers. Make sure we have everything correct under control. Great. Eight, seven, six, five, correct. Four, correct. Three, two, and of course, number one, correct. Are there any expressions here? Any words? Sure. You want? Yes. Ponga la siete. Number seven. Es que yo la tengo como by writing to English speaking pimple también. Y me salió bien. By writing to, ah, uh, yes, it's possible. Also, it's correct. You can improve the grammar by writing. 
or by doing translation. Mm -hmm. number, number six. Number? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the most important, remember, is there are many ways to improve your English. Not only one way, okay? That is the function of by and the gerund is to give us how to improve different ways, okay? How can El Salvador improve? Ah, El Salvador can improve by investing more in education. El Salvador can improve by having more police. Okay, depend your opinion. Tell me, how do you think El Salvador can improve? By having a good president. Okay, by having a good <laughs> president. Uh-huh. Good, nice example, Raquel. Okay, someone else, another example. How can El Salvador improve? Uh, we had a nice uh, beach. Okay, how can we improve? Emerson, how can we get better? I don't understand this shit. Okay. Know what is good in El Salvador. What in El Salvador we can make better. For example, the beaches in El Salvador are good. How can we make better? Ah, eh, by cleaning the beaches, by not having garbage at the beaches. This is how improve, how to make better the next level. Mm, it's okay. Okay, good. So, guys, tell me about El Salvador. Give me some more examples. How can we improve in El Salvador? By improving in the education. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. By improving in education. By improving the food. Oh, okay. Also, by improving food. By showing tolerance. Very nice. By showing tolerance. Very, very important. No, so that way they don't, they kill you in the street for the parking or for uh, the problem with the cars, huh? I guess so. Um, By creating new jobs very nice easy to use by only you think ah uh, the solution and the solution is by a improve the streets by improving the streets In improving the streets a mm -hmm. ah uh, let's take a look let me see edith Edith, I want to watch Netflix. I want to watch Netflix for free. How? How can I watch Netflix for free? Um, I don't know. Okay. You can watch Netflix for free by, by sharing the email by sharing the password. Oh. It's okay? Edith? Um, I, I, uh -huh. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. You, you don't understand by? No. Okay. Buy is to give the solution. Buy is for solution, and the verb is ing. Do you understand solution, Edith? Okay, yeah. Solution, yes, okay. So the you have the problem. Ah, what is the solution? Buy ing. Okay. 
don't okay. worry. Tomorrow we're going to practice some more. But thank you so much for connecting today. And tomorrow we continue and finish unit three. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.